Hi friends, this is my first class of chapter 15, Visualizing Solid Shapes. In this class, I will give you the introduction of solid shapes, plane figures and solid shapes, and faces, edges and the vertices of solid shapes. In our day-to-day -day life, we see the objects like cone, tumbler, boxes, ball. One thing is common in all these objects, that is, it needs some space to occupy or we can say these all objects most of these objects having a length, breadth and height. So such objects we can call it as three dimensional figures or three dimensional shapes. Three dimension in short we can write as 3D. Last year in class 6 you came across so many three dimensional figures. Let us have a check on it. Match the shape with the name. The first figure you know. What this figure is called? Yes, it is a cylinder. In what shape the second one is? It is a sphere. Like this. What about this one? It is a cuboid. Next. Yes, it is a cube. And this one. Fifth one. It is a cone. And the last one. It is a pyramid. These soul shapes are solid shapes having three dimensions. So we can call all these as three dimensional figures. Now, what about this kind of figures? These soul figures you already knew. These soul figures having length and breadth only. So we can call these figures as two dimensional figures. Now match the two dimensional figures with the names. Here the first one you know it is a rectangle. Similarly do come with all other two dimensional figures. Now, look at the faces, edges and vertices of a solids. Let me take a cuboid. Here, you have a cuboid. Now, how many corners are there for this cuboid? You can see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4 in the upside and 1, 2, 3, 4 in the downside. There are 8 corners are there in a cuboid. So, these corners we can call it as vertices of the cuboid. So, we can write the 8 corners of the cuboid are its vertices. Now, how many line segments used to make the skeleton of this cuboid? Let us check. Here, in the top, 1, 2, 3, 4 line segments are used. Now look at the side by side. Here, 1, 2, similarly this side, 3, 4, 
and the bottom again 1, 2, 3, 4. That means total 12 line segments, line segments are used to make this cuboid. So this line segment we can call it as edges. So we can write the 12 line segment that form the skeleton of the cuboid are its edges. So here 8 vertices, 12 edges. Now look at the flat surface. Here it is 1, then 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 flat surfaces of the this flat surface we can call it as faces of the cuboid. So the six flat surfaces that are the skin of the cuboid are its faces. So in short we can write for a cuboid there are eight corners, twelve edges and six faces. Now let us look another solid. Here you have a pyramid. Here base is a square, so we can call this as a square pyramid. Now count how many vertices are there. Vertices means corners. Here you can find one, two, three, four, and five. So, you will get 5 vertices. Now, check how many edges are there. Here, side by side, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 4 edges you will get inside. And the bottom, again, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, you will get... 8 edges. Now check how many faces are there. Here side by side you will get 4 faces. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And bottom you will get a 1. So total 5 faces you will get. So we can write faces 5. So in total for a square pyramid you will get 5 vertices, 8 edges and 5 faces. Now I will give some questions to write vertices, edges and faces of some solids. Here, the first figure is a cube and it has 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 vertices as like cube oil. Now here, a pyramid and other two figures are there. Here faces are for only two faces are showing. The remaining two is there. Just imagine the faces, edges and the vertices and write it down. Here in the last figure, here this also will form a face. So write, write its number of faces, edges and vertices. And faces we can call written in capital F, edges. E and vertices V. So, do complete the table. Here in the last question, number of faces will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as in the cuboid or cube plus this face. So, you can write number of faces will be 7.
remaining edges and vertices you find it out that is all for today's class have a nice day